Bro, Josh gonna record this video and it will never ever get posted, bro. I just wanna let y'all know that. Uh, First vlog of 2018. A lot of people been putting pressure on me. My son, Devonte Punk A. But I got y'all though. Finna hit a little chest and shoulders and triceps. Welcome to my world, folks. This your boy Josh Wise coming to you live and direct from Lifetime Fitness. What's on the agenda today? We got a little chest and triceps. No, chest and shoulders. And then after that, I head back to work. I got a couple clients. I got a train that's getting ready for shows. And then after that, I got to go to AutoZone, check on my car because it kind of stalled out on me after I just got it out the shop two weeks ago. So I might be buying a new car in the next couple weeks. But that's a different topic. The topic of today is 2018. What you going to do about it? Like I woke up today like very very pissed off because i have a lot of unfinished business and i will talk about that more but check this dude out he almost made this bar bell fall on my head because my left elbow banged up and he realized he doesn't realize that but on another note watch this too hold on sit tight <laughs> for some reason that shit tickled the hell out of me that was just funny. That was one of my clients, who, which you will see later in the clip, training at Metroflex with me. He's a trainer at Lifetime, but that was one of his uh, employed like trainers from Lifetime. That shit was just funny. And that wasn't a member. But now, folks, getting back to it, the topic of today is January first, twenty eighteen. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Is it a new year, new you? What's new? Do you have new thoughts? New emotions? New behaviors? New habits all overnight? Like thoughts like dictate your life. But it's very, very, very hard to be thoughtful, to be mindful, being impaired. So what did you do last night? That dictates where you are today. Like I'm not I'm not trying to preach to you, but I'm just trying to be that mirror like you gotta be very, very honest with yourself. Are you happy with life? If not, what the fuck you celebrating for? Like just because everybody else is? No, we don't do that. Like, like, like it's 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 time to 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 really get a grip on your life to the point to where you do live an optimal life, to where you do live a fit, healthy lifestyle, and have fun, and your finances are in check. Like you got to be three dimensional. Remember, folks, the goal is to be healthy, to be wealthy, to be wise. To be healthy is to be energetic, to be pain-free, to be disease-free, to be like fully functional to where you can go out and live a purposeful, ultimate life to where you can accumulate abundance of love, abundance of uh, relationships, and abundance of money to where you can spread that down and pass that down and to teach that and to, to influence the, the world as a whole to where you are a contributor and not a, like a, like a, a and you're not robbing society of of, of space however that's a different topic <laughs> let me get back to working out but right now we're doing uh we doing a heavy heavy emphasis on the upper chest modifying the incline chest a bit twisting the torso over to where we get in that 45 degree angle to where the upper portion of the chest right in front of the, right below the anterior deltoid that's one of the toughest spots to activate but as bodybuilders we always find a way to get what we want like that feel, that contraction, that's what bodybuilding is. Like painting that picture, knowing and understanding angles and biomechanics and, and contraction and, and just different tempos and techniques, that's what we do. Come on, Josh. Yep. Yep, getting back to it. 
Now we just we just finished the uh, chest portion of the workout. Now we're going to the shoulder portion of the workout. We just uh, ended with dips. Now we're going to the seated shoulder press. Then we're going to the side raise and the front raise. And we have uh, two different variations of shrugs. Then after that, I got to get to work. I got a couple clients that I got to get to. And then here to uh, AutoZone, Auto Parts, one of them. Just to check on my car. And after that, I'm going to call it a day. Like, I don't live a, 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 a crazy lifestyle. Like, I stay inside. Like, I conserve my energy because I... I'm needed in so many aspects of life. Like I, I life coach, I, I train, I, I need my my energy and the people around me, my son, my family. I, I just learned how to conserve my energy because I cannot pour from an empty cup. But in 2018, like the goal, what's, what's, what's your goal? I'm going back to the topic. What are you trying to accomplish in life? Like what do you see more clearly now? Like this new year, new me shit, like cannot happen unless you have new thoughts. Because your new thoughts will create new emotions. Your new emotions will create create new behaviors. And the behaviors will create the habits to lead you to the life that you're going to live. Because at the end of the day, you chose to be where you are today based off your thoughts. Like, you can say you had a bad mama, a bad daddy, a bad boyfriend. They ruined you, blah, blah, blah. You allowed that to happen. Like, you, nobody controls you but you. One thing that you can control are your thoughts. You don't have to sit there. You don't have to listen to it. You can walk away. But for some reason, you told yourself otherwise. That's a choice. Life is a choice. But <laughs> I could talk about that all day. In 2018, the goal, get out your own way. Stop talking yourself out of great things. Be your own best friend and live fearlessly. There's nothing in the world that can break you. You've been through the worst already. Like this is 2018. Put that in, in, in perspective. You've encountered so much pain in the past 10 years, probably five years or three years to where you thought you was going to die, but you're still alive. So why not go conquer what you need to go conquer? But that's, I digress. Now I'm finna head off to work. We finish off with reverse shrugs. Shrugs. I'm going to put the workout below. Comment, like, share, repost. Bulgarian squat, John Meadows style, triple drop set, reps in an isometric hole. They got three sets. Come on. Yeah, folks, that's what we doing. We working on January first. What are you doing? What did you do? How are you moving forward towards your goals in 2018? Because that new year, new me shit is so played out. I'm telling y'all, without a new approach to life, without a new process in life. You will never see change. I promise you. I'm going to tell you that. But the key indicator to change is your self-awareness. Like if you're not aware of the things around you and the things you say to yourself and the things that you're doing, you will never be able to, to live an optimal lifestyle. So go back to the drawing board. Evaluate your relationships. Make sure everything's where you want it to be. Evaluate your thoughts. Evaluate your emotions. Evaluate your habits. Because you can say one thing. You can have great intentions, but your execution is lacking. And with that being said, in 2018, all I want you to do is focus on awareness. Just name and notice some bullshit, name and notice some good shit, and then go off that. Like, if you catch yourself not being your own best friend, stop that shit. You want to do that to your best friend, so why would you do it to yourself? Stop limiting yourself your growth. Like, that's not what we're going to do in 2018, but I'm going to end it. You guys have fun. Enjoy. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed your day. Eat your black eyed peas and shit like that. Me, I got to go fix my car, or at least try, attempt to. But. Folks, 2018, I cannot emphasize it enough. Get out your own way. I am. Wise up. Just got off work. At uh, Auto Parts. Hope they don't fucking rape me. If y'all don't know, my car just got out the shop two weeks ago. And uh, stalled out today. And it broke my heart. Because I'm going to keep my Jeep. But they don't want to keep me. I'm like six months to pay this bitch off. I can't keep putting money into something that's going to not gonna last. So hopefully I don't get raped. If you're working out today and you're watching this blog and get 10 million subscribers and 10 million views and 10 million and no zero thumbs up and comment the video 
and turn on my daddy's notification and comment it and say you you got the notification.